Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, anybody that knows me knows I don't normally make any kind of how-to videos or even put myself out online or any of that. It's just not my jam. But this was a pretty neat thing that I figured out so I had to share. So I have a PV power amplifier, an IPR2 series, um, that was not powering on and it just died. Just no light, no vanity lights, just nothing. And so I reached out to PV, they sent me the schematics, I emailed them and they sent them right back. They were super fast, so thanks to PV for that. Um, and I was able to actually go through and troubleshoot between the main board and the front board what was happening, and I'll get into that, I'll stop blabbering and turn the camera around so you can see what we had here. So here's what we got with this thing, right? So 120 volt AC, plug it in in the back here. And then nothing. No lights, no nothing. There's a switch, no nothing. No standby lights, no vanity lights, no nothing. Look at the board. Nothing's burnt in there. All looks nice and clean. Get to the, the output section. There's a fan behind there. Ribbon cables that go to the display. I mean, it's clean, right? So, Main AC comes in, there's three wires that go to the front panel here, which controls the power switch. And there's a funky LED sticking off of there, and I'll get to that in just a second here. But that's really that board and those three wires are what has the power come in and off the mains, with the exception of the circuit breaker off the top there, right? So we got a copy of neutral, or a, a leg of neutral, a supply line, and a return line. That black line, the other return line, goes back to the board and goes through these couple of chokes here, and then this, this main uh, power board relay that kicks on the rest of the amp. But the main switch and everything and all that, only just, there's like no other fancy wires or anything come over to this board. It's just, just a matter of uh, the main supply and a return line and neutral. So what I did after getting, getting hold of PV and getting the schematics, you can see this here. Um, this is the main, the main board schematic. There's a couple of them, one for the front panel too. Okay, so I've gone ahead and zoomed in on that section here. And so you can see again, like here, right here is the main AC plug, right? Uh, a couple resistors, the choke coils that are on that uh, main board, a um, couple resistors, part of a relay that's there, full wave rectifier. Um, it's, uh, it's RL, you can see here, RL1, okay, RL1B. So that's the main um, cutoff relay, uh, like breaker, re circuit breaker relay on the main board. But there's another one that's on the front panel board. And what we're particularly interested in here is this common neutral uh, to breaker, from breaker. Those actually go out to, there's another schematic here, so we'll go ahead and cut over to that. This is the front panel schematic, okay? This is just for that front panel. And so what we can see here are the other end, hopefully this is focusing, the other end of these lines. So there's a um, switch hot, two breaker black, a white neutral line, um, a couple of diodes, some resistors. I mean, really all in all, this front panel is not super complicated. Refocus that. Um, there's the switch that's here, and I tested that. that um, was good in the both the on and off positions as to how it should be. Um, there's another half of a relay there, RL2, that's actually on the front board. Um, and then there's the other piece of it. So there's a low voltage side and the high voltage side, right? The high voltage side connects to that AC power. And the low voltage side has this whole string of LEDs. And I had gone through all the different parts on this and, and kind of everything seemed to be within tolerance fairly good. Um, like it, most of the resistors measured within a good value. And then I went along and was checking all the LEDs, and lo and behold, through this massive string of LEDs that's connected to the uh, low side of the relay, um, LED 4, this particular one right here, actually would not light and was bad. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. Is that really, could that really be it? So we'll cut back to the board and I'll show you, show you the <laughs> results of that uh, realization, right? So the power's still plugged in. So that's where this LED comes into play. And you'll notice here, I'm actually just gonna take my hand and put it on it here. Notice that if I touch this to the board, all the vanity lights come on. 
This is just a red LED that I had out of a, a parts kit. It was a, <clears throat> it's a pedal that I'm planning on building. But couldn't believe it. I said, man, you gotta be kidding me. Is that really, could that really just be it, that one LED? So let me grab, I'm gonna put the camera down, grab the soldering iron. I'm actually gonna solder that in place and show you here what, what should happen when the amp's working. All right, so I've gone ahead and soldered on and attached the other leg of that. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the power back in here. Plug it back on the back side and look at that. All those vanity LEDs, everything's lit up just the way it's supposed to be. And lo and behold, push the power switch, everything gets brighter. You heard the click. And the rest of the amp turned on. Another display. Everything's ready to go. Output lights. Unbelievable. Just for giggles, shut it off. Relay kicks. Amp turns off. So an LED took this entire amp out. Crazy. Okay, so again, just back to the schematic. Got LED 4 here. If I click on that and get some details that open up, and we can see that it is a blue, super bright, clear uh, measured drop is 3.9 volts. So I went ahead and ordered a pack of clear. We can see those. Five pack of clear blue LEDs, uh, 3.9 volt. Uh, online, I think it costs about a buck 30, so it makes them 20 something cents each, right? Ish. So 20 something cent LED. So we'll go ahead and get that installed on this board and then we'll come back in a second. Finish it up. Okay. That LED's out. You want to solder it in. Okay, it's in there now. We can screw back together. And let's see what we got. We'll plug in the power here. Our vanity lights. That's it. Well done.